Hey, what's up, everybody? Uh, it's Kyler. Um, here we're going to talk about another rudiment today. Um, this one's called the inverted flam tap, or we just call them inverts sometimes. Very unique rudiment. We're going to take the already discussed rudiment of the flam tap and just change the sticking and also change the technique a little bit. Okay, so let's look at the pattern just as it is. So it's a two note grouping. Uh, or four note groupings, you're going to play them alternating. Um, you start off the same as a flam tap, you're going to do a right hand flam, okay, high right hand primary note, left hand grace note, make sure you're placing the grace note accurately, okay, and the next note, instead of being another right hand, as if it were a flam tap, we're going to make it a left tap, okay, it's almost like the first two notes of a flam accent as well. Just right flam left tap. Okay. Now from there, the next note is going to be a left hand flam. Okay. So we're going to add that on. Now here, so here's the key to this rudiment is that when you play that left tap up into the next accent, that is going to be an upstroke. Right. Tap to an accent. That tap needs to be a nice upstroke to get that next accent. So the key to uh, Making these rudiments flow is mastering how smooth you can make that transition from a tap stroke to an upstroke. Coincidentally, if you take one hand away, this pattern should feel um, kind of like the flam tap where you have a triple stroke. You can just kind of let bounce and play with an accent technically on the first note. We're going to put an accent on the last note. So we have this tap, tap, accent, tap, tap, accent. So that tap to the accent right there, that's the key to this rudiment, okay? So it's right, left, left, right, right, left, left, right. So master that pattern nice and slow with regular wrist turns, okay? The hardest thing for someone when they learn this rudiment is keeping that rhythm even. They kind of get a... They get a stuttery rhythm because they're not used to alternating the rudiment. Okay, so I would suggest just doing those first three notes like we just did a little while ago. Get that transition to the left one in there. Then start on the left and on the right. Oops. Okay. So now when you get these faster, you can also use uh, the molar stroke. We haven't really talked about the molar stroke, but a molar stroke is an arm kind of a whipping motion um, where the wrist breaks like this and you bring the wrist up like that and you kind of whip it down into the drum in slow motion. Kind of looks like that, right? Now in context, it's not going to be that large of a motion. Um, so if you have tap, tap, accent, tap, tap, accent, you're going to get where you're snapping that accent, that molar accent. Molar helps you play other rudiments like faster singles uh, and then like flam flams, hand to hand flams which we'll also talk about. But yeah, that molar, uh, that molar motion can be helpful if you want to get these very fast. Um, but focus on the upstroke and turning the wrist regularly for now. Don't try to do molar stroke really slow when you're starting the rudiment. Really try to learn with proper wrist turns first.